Alright, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at how you can create your own CSGO stickers. So, the first thing we are going to do is we're going to open up Photoshop, which I have open right here. And I have already made a sticker, so just have your sticker ready and then we can continue with the video. Alright, so now that we are happy with our sticker and we have saved it, we can come over to the left here and select our magic wand. Then we want to select the outside of our sticker. Then what we want to do is right click, select inverse. Then once we have done this, we want to just control and copy. Then we go over to the channels tab. And over here we make a new channel. We're just going to go ahead and paint this white. So just select your brush painted white and then once we have done this what we want to do is remove the other existing channels so we just delete I mean sorry right click delete channels then we create three new channels we make the first one red green and blue then we move the alpha one to the bottom and we paste the sticker back into the other channels. All right, so now onto our holographic sticker. What we want to do is select the red channel. Then we, what, what we want to do is come over to the top here, click image, then go to adjustments. Then we, what, what we want to do is go over to levels. Now we can play around with this. And what this will basically do is make the image more black or more white. Now the white part is the part that will be holographic and the black part is the part that will be uh, normal. So in my case that is quite easy. I'll just make it like this. So in this case we can see that the inside of the panda is all going to be holographic and then the outside and some of its ears is black so that will mean that that won't be holographic. Alright so if we are happy with our results what we can do is click OK. Now we are going to go to the next channel. Uh, the green channel is not something that I'm going to change. You could try and play around with it, but I have never really used it, so I couldn't really help you there. But for the blue level, this is basically the intensity of the holo effect. So you basically do the same thing. You go to image, you go over to adjustments. I'm sorry, I need to select blue here. Image, adjustments, and they want to come over to levels. And just as I have said before, white is the part that will be, in this case, more intense. And black will be less intense. So in my case, I'll just keep it a bit the same because I only have a, a grayscale image. So the levels won't really matter that much. But if you're happy with this, you just press OK and then we can continue. Alright, so once we are happy with our result and we want to continue on with the foils. Alright, so once we are happy with our holographic result, we want to come over to the channels and select all four of these. So make sure these eyes are visible. Then we want to make sure everything is deselected. So you can just simply do that by hitting this and just clicking outside of the frame. Then what you want to do is go to File, Save As. But if you have the same problem as in my case, you can see the PNG extension. Uh, what you want to do is just go over to export and hit quick export as PNG. Then you want to save it as uh, the file name you have and holo behind it. Alright, so now that we have done our holo sticker, what we want to do is come over to the original file of your sticker. And we want to select the right layer. So with the original file I mean nothing changed to the channels and nothing changed to the layers. Then we just want to make sure we have selected our layer. Then we want to go to Filter, 3D, Generate Normal Map, just hit OK. Then it will look all spacey like this. So that makes sure that the foil is properly added to the sticker. So just go over to File, Save As. And if you have the same problem as I do, just like normally, we don't see the option for a TGA file. So what we want to do is click Save a Copy. And then over here we should have the option for a TGA file. Now once you have done this, you can just name it Panda Foil or whatever your sticker name is and then Foil just to stay organized. Then we want to just hit save and that is it for Photoshop. 
All right, so the next thing we need is VTF edit. So just search VTF edit. And then we want to come over to this page here. Then we want to come over here and hit installer. What this will do is it will just download the VTF edit file. All right, so once this is downloaded, what we want to do is just open it, hit yes, next, I accept, next, 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 and install. And then what you want to do is just launch VTF edit. All right, so now that we have VTF edit open, what we want to do is go ahead and come to file, hit import. Then we want to go to our desktop and just select our regular paper. So the normal one, we select this, just hit OK. Now, before we continue, we need to make sure that no MIP map is on and no level of detail is on, as well as this 8-bit alpha. If we have done this, what we can do is simply save it and this will generate a VTF file. So in my case, I'll just call it Penda and the file extension needs to be VTF, so make sure it is. All right, so you might have guessed, but we also need to do this for the hollow one. So just import, come over to the Panda hollow, keep this all the same. Now make sure that these three are selected. We just save and we can just call this one Panda hollow. And the same goes for our foil. All right, so our next step is to actually test it out in game. So in order to do this, we want to go, come over to this website that I will have linked in the description. And we want to copy this piece of text here. Then we want to go back to our sticker folder. We want to create a new text document. We open it up and we just paste this in here. Now, the only thing we need to change for now is right over here at the base texture. We just want to remove everything in here and we want to replace this with our file location which will in my case be over at the C drive and then in the CS sticker folder and then we want to create the, the paper first or I mean we want to look at the paper first so in my case that is panda.vtf alright so once we have changed the base texture what we want to do is file save as and then we want to call this in my case, panda.vmt. Make sure it is a VMT format. Over here, just have it at all files. Then you want to save, and this will make the VMT file right over here. So once we have done this, we can continue. All right, so we just made our normal paper. What we then want to do is come over to the bottom here, where it says holographic stickers. And we want to come to the bottom and select this as well. And you guessed it, we need to make a new text document. Then come over here, just paste that in. Then we want to keep this at three. We just need to replace this with our location again, which I should have just remembered. Or I mean paste it at my uh, clipboard, but that's fine. Uh, we just go over here and make sure this is the panda hollow.vtf. And then what we want to do is save this as and you guessed it all files panda hollow.vmt save that's done now the last one we want to do is come over to this foil here so we just select it again we go back to our sticker open the document and I never learned from my mistakes but that's fine we just put this over here again and then we go into see a sticker and we need to make sure we have the panda foil this time. So panda foil.vtf. And we save as all files and call this the panda foil.vmt. And then save this. All right, so that's all about that. So we can close off this. And then what we can do is go into the SDK. It seems as I've actually made a mistake. So what we want to do is come over to the sticker again. And we want to change up the foil one. I forgot to change the normal map over to our actual foil. So what we need to do is this one needs to be the foil uh, VTF. 
and we need the base texture to be the regular uh, VTF, so panda.vtf. So if you have changed this, we just save this as the panda foil uh, VMT. where is it, right over there. So just overwrite that and that should all be fine. All right, so now that we are actually going to take a look at the stickers in the game, we want to make sure we have the CSGO SDK installed. Now, if you're launching this for the first time, it might take a while for this menu to pop up. Just wait a bit and it should work. Then what we want to do is once we have this menu open, we want to go ahead and click on the option right over here, which will be the model viewer. Now this might take a while, but it should open up a new window in a second, right over here. Then what we want to do over here is we want to go over to File, Load Model, and then we want to go over here and hit Sticker Preview. Alright, so once we are in here, we want to make sure that this is enabled, the ground and the background. Alright, so once we have done this, we can go to Materials, Sticker Preview. We can go over here and click replace VMT. Now I'll just show the hollow for now, which you can see right here. It looks a bit messy because I just kind of rushed it to be honest, but it should be fine if you just took the time and actually uh, worked with the values. All right, so if you were to want to look at this on a weapon, say for example, the AWP, what you can do is come over to the bottom here, hit sticker preview, and you could click on the AWP right like so and then we can just go ahead and go over here and we can replace this with our hollow and uh, a foil maybe another hollow and uh, our paper which can load so we'll just go for the hollow instead <laughs> all right so now you can just see all of these stickers on your gun which could just improve uh, how you look at it so that's pretty cool. And just in case you need to move around, what you can do is hit the right click to zoom in and out. So you hold right click and you just move up and down. It's a bit weird controls, but I guess that just happens when the game is pretty old. So as you can see, the hollow effect does work, even though it's pretty ugly on my sticker. All right, so next thing we want to do is publish. So what we will have to do is load up CSGO. We type in workshop publish. Then over here we go to sticker, we click add, we can add a preview image which will be a JPEG. I don't have one at the moment but uh, you can do that. And we can add our uh, description and title, so I'll just name it panda sticker, glossy hollow um, paper I guess, or I mean foil sorry. Then the VMT1 will be the regular paper. So you just upload the paper VMT file over here. The base source image will be the regular paper variant of your sticker. So over here, PNG files. And go ahead and hit panda.png. So once we have done this, we can click on VMT2. Or I mean, sorry, we need to add the base VTF. So add the base VTF, base source image, and the VMT. Then we need to do the same for this, the VMT the base image so the um, the panda and then we over here need to make sure that the base vtf is the same now over here at the hologram mask vtf we need to change this to our vtf file so this one then what we need to do is we have to go over to the source image and we also need to change this to the hollow one now just make sure we've done all that. Then we go to VMT3. We need to add our foil. We can add our base image. Then over here at the normal map source image, what we want to do is go to the TGA and click the foil one. And once we have done all of this, we need to make sure that this is the same as uh, over here, but the VTF variant. And we can just accept this and we can publish this if we have actually added the stickers. All right, so once we have done everything and we have a preview image, we can actually publish. Then you need to just type in, I understand. And then you can actually publish it to the workshop and then you will have it visible right there. All right, so that was it for today's video. Uh, I showed you how to make a sticker 
how to add a holo and foil effect and how to publish it to the game. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. If there are any questions, you can ask them in the comments. And until next time, bye bye.